Hey guys, I'm back here, and uh, what I left you with in this series is our live main menu, and we got a play button that uh, does our uh, level selection. If you're new to this UI and you want to learn how to do this, uh, totally scroll back and uh, follow the series to uh, keep up here. Um, today I'm going to break this down, but we're going to put a options menu in here. And it's going to be actually a quite common style, but it's difficult to accomplish. But I'm going to make it as simple as possible and probably break it up into a few uh, videos for you guys. So first things first, I, in, I uh, changed my escape binding key. So uh, when I'm hitting play here, if I hit escape, it doesn't actually uh, close my thing. I have to hit control Q to close it. There is a video I just posted about how to do that, so have a look at that because uh, eventually we're going to get into using the escape and in order to test it we need the escape key free. So first things first, let's get a new folder going on here. And this is going to be in our UI, so I'm going to call this the options folder. And everything that's options related, audio, video, uh, game settings, uh, uh, anything like that is going to be stored in this folder because it'll just be a whole lot easier to access. <laughs> now I'm going to create two things here. I want to save game, so I'm going to go to blueprints and I'm going to search for save game, select, and I'm going to call this options save. Now I want to go to a new user interface and I'm gonna go to options menu options menu and then I'm gonna create two other UI instances or widgets and this is gonna be video and this is gonna another one's going to be audio now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save all this and I am going to go to the options menu first. So in here we're going to want a vertical box. And don't mind my spelling because when I'm on the fly trying to think and talk at the same time it just doesn't work sometimes. And I'm sure there's a few people out there that understand the problem. <laughs> um, so let's fill that up. I anchored it to the left side. Set zero on everything. I'm going to size this to about 300. Uh, offset it from the bottom about 50 and offset it from the top about 52. Um, the left side uh, position X let's do uh, another 50 just to make it have an even border around the outside edge here. Now I'm gonna need another box and it's gonna be a scale box and I'm going to anchor this and it's going to be to the whole screen. Now what this is going to do, it's going to contain our options fields. So I'm going to zero this out and I'm going to do 50 from the bottom, 50 from the top, just like our vertical box. And I'm going to do, since this is 300 here, and this is 50 here, I want 350 from the left. And then I want 50 from the right. And now we're going to have our boxes, they're going to be exactly lined up. And the scale box is going to go with the, with the scale of the screen. Um, and then we're going to do a scroll box inside that. Now what this scroll box is going to do, we're going to set this to fill and fill. Now what this scroll box is going to do, it when we put our menus in here, the bigger they get, it's not going to overwhelm your screen. You're going to be able to go down the list and uh, scroll through your different settings. Uh, so we'll leave that there <coughs> and we're going to actually rename this scroll box and we're going to call it... Um, what should we call it? Menu Handler. Why not? And I'm going to make this a variable. Now I'm going to compile. And this one, we're going to add, let's say, two buttons for now.
and then we're going to add text to those. Oops. Text. Text. Okay. Now this text is going to be audio. And we're going to center, center. And this text will be video. Now I'm going to set my audio, let's set them to something sizable, I'm going to say 36, and I'm going to say 36 for this as well, and these buttons, so click button, control, and click the second button, we're going to change the color of them, I'm going to make them like an off, kind of a green, and I'm going to make them a little transparent there okay now I need the padding of these as well so padding tops about five no let's say 100 or 50 okay that's not working why is the normal padding not working I need these to fill and center but I want them a little top there we go, padding, auto. This is where we want. We want layout here. Um, top, let's say 20. No, 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 not left. Zero on the left. 20 on the top. 20 on the bottom. There. Now we got a nice little spacing set going on here. Compile, play. Whoops, sorry, not play. Compile, save. Now I'm going to close this for now and we're going to go back into our main menu and once we click the button here on options, make sure you're on the button not the text on click okay create widget this is going to be our options menu owning player Okay. Now there's one thing we have to do too here. Options, um, options menu, and we're gonna go into the graph and we're gonna add a variable. Previous widget, and this will be a user widget reference. Okay. Compile, save. We're gonna go to previous widget now back in the main menu set previous widget I'm going to self this okay add that here and we're going to take this and add it to the viewport and there and then we are going to remove the main menu um, parent is what you want. Okay. Compile, save. Now, actually, let's go back to our options menu because what I just did there with that previous widget is when we hit the back button, it's going to go back to the whatever, like uh, whatever widget you were last on. Um, so this is good because this you can use in your pause menu. You can use it in your main menu. You can use it basically anywhere and to have this uh, previous widget uh, set up like that it's actually a really nice thing to get into because then uh, it just makes it a whole lot easier to switch between widgets really quickly um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this back button so I'm gonna add a button here and let's put it here for now and I'm gonna put it against the bottom Okay, now I'm going to add the text. Uh, text to this button. And this is going to be 32 as well. Whoops, let's get the text here. Back. And this will be 32. And we're going to copy this. We're going to right click on style. 
copy. Then we're going to go to our back button, right click on it, paste, just like that. Now for the coding part of it, even though the main menu handler is actually really easy to use, uh, for the coding of it, let's name these accordingly so we can get into uh, organization, I guess. So I'm going to name this one as the video settings. So I got video. And I got back. Now, guys, just to give your attention here, this video is going to have more options than any other one on YouTube. Reason being, because I'm going to show you how to do the brightness as well. Um, and then we'll get into audio and game settings as well. Um, that'll be later down on the line, but the next one for when we do our video settings uh, is going to include the brightness. And I'm going to warn you because the brightness does affect the engine as well. So as you're testing it, set it back and I'll, I'll give you this heads up once we get into that one as well. But anyway, um, let's get back on track here. So once we go to the back button, we're going to go on and go to on click. And we're going to get our previous widget. And we're going to add it to viewport. And then we're going to remove from view. Remove from parent. Okay. So now what we have here is we can go to our, our options. We have our audio, video, and then our back button. And the back button's working right now. Uh, so now I'm going to go to quit. So what we want to do also is on our main menu, did I have the functionality already? On click play, quick game. Uh, nope. No, I didn't. Okay. So we're done with our main menu for now. Uh, we got our options, we got our play, and we got our, uh, our quit buttons working. So main menu is done. Um, so now in the options menu, we're going to have to set it up so it'll save, okay? So on save, we're going to use this event construct. And what, that's, what that does is when the menu pops up on your screen, uh, this event construct fires and runs whatever code you have when the menu runs or when the menu comes up. It'll happen before anybody has a chance to start clicking buttons. Um, the pre-construct is what happens as soon as uh, you do the create widget node. As soon as you do the create widget on, like, say, the main menu, when we created the widget for the options menu to, before it added to viewport, as soon as that create widget node shows up, that's when that key starts firing. Um, so on here, we're on our event construct. We're going to set up our options uh, so it loads our options. Actually, no, no scratch that what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it here we're gonna set it just like this for now okay so <coughs> I'm gonna set this here and I'm gonna leave you guys here for now um, I'm gonna get another video we're gonna start with our video settings okay and that's gonna get into the grind and it's gonna get kind of heavy so be ready for a longer video I'll try to try to keep it as simple and quick as possible um, but I'm not going to use arrays uh, like you see on all the other options menus I'm gonna make this simple and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this so it's works a lot easier um, I'm gonna, <coughs> sorry I'm gonna use the slider styles I'm not gonna use the high low medium epic style like everybody else uses I'll show you how to use sliders and how to control variables and set the events on the sliders um, so thank you for watching guys stay tuned for the next video uh, smash that sub button the bell button and follow along guys because this is gonna get pretty pretty serious thank you much